hello and welcome to my channel a channel where we make structural engineering design easy and simple my name is Olodu Konyedi and I'm your host I really want to appreciate everyone that have subscribed to our channel we are growing by the day I appreciate you all those who have subscribed and those who are sending encouraging words i really really appreciate all that we'll be getting piles of questions and we'll be taking them one after the other we'll be doing videos one after the other we'll make sure that every question here is answered is answered um shane we got um an encouraging messages from a lot of our subscriber one of them is shane Miami from Lagos said thank you sir for this video it solved my problem thank you Sean that this is the reason why we push out videos to make sure people like you get your questions answered so the problem is solved and I'm glad that we are able to do just that and uh, we have another subscriber says um, the person is as Kana Kwanu As Kana Kwanu, you didn't tell us where you are commenting from. Please, if you he, you you've seen this video, please tell us where you are commenting from. You said from the way you position and align your columns, you have to work more on your column alignment and position. It is not even economical. It's not even economical. You are doing well anyway. Thank you. Uh, ask Kana, thank you for this, your your comment and observation. There is something I do, and today we'll be talking about how to arrange your, your slab layout and your column. How to arrange your columns in your slab in answering to this question that you've raised that my column positions uh, uh from the way you position and align your columns you have to work more on your column alignment and position uh, ask Kana. let me explain how these columns come about the columns you see here are not just being put here it is because of the way the architect ar architects have arranged their their layouts i don't just generate columns from my head based on what the architect has put up that is what we do if you look at this this is the this is the arrangement of the architectural plan if you look here this is like a gar a a, a, a car park where the cars are parked then this is your first floor you come here this is your second floor so if you look carefully normally if there is no recess here normally if there is no recess here you can easily run your beams through but if you look very well if you look very well you if you run your column your beam through here here will be exposed your columns will be exposed your your beam will just be exposed and it will not be be aesthetics because you do design based on three three conditions one it must be functional what you are doing will it solve the problem will it work if you say yes then one of the conditions have been made the next thing is is it economical if it's economical then you can you can say yes then the last is is it aesthetic to the eyes is it beautiful to build so the reason why we do this is to provide a functional economical and aesthetic um, work so if you look carefully at our arrangement here at our arrangement here this is 
the way we've arranged it because this cannot just stand on its own you have to create a beam to cantilever to pick this or if you choose to put column here if you choose to put a column here it means there will be so many columns at close proximity if you choose to put a column here say yes if you put a column here you put another column here you see multiple columns as you are saying it's it's this we not make it economical because when you are designing for the footing your footing will have to to cover all this which will make it very big so when i look at my architectural work that is what determines what i do what i do so i make sure when i'm designing uh, a scanner i make sure i arrange my column my beam in such a way that the work will be will be economical will be will be functional and aesthetic to the eyes so what's the the the, the position of my column is determined by the architectural work by the architectural work and where there is an expansion joint you create columns there you create columns because this expansion joint separates this part of the building from the other so if you look carefully this is why there are columns and i make sure to put my columns at minimum at minimum three three hundred uh, three meters apart minimum three meters apart minimum three meters apart so that is the reason and i make sure another thing i do is i make sure i design based on the architecture where there are where there are walls where there are walls i try to hide my beams inside the wall so if i want to do a panel this could have been a panel if there's no recess here but since there's a recess here and this thing is cantilevered this thing is cantilevered so you have to create a beam here i created a beam here to pick this cantilever so uh i cannot if if go through it look at the the architectural work that is being done then with that you can determine if my column positions are economical or not but what i do is i make sure i designed a very economical building so check you can go through it look at it if you see let me let me look if you look at it like this you can now determine what is the best column position for this building what is the best column position for this building so with this now i hope you you understand that i don't just put in my columns i make sure i marry it I align it to the architectural drawing so maybe if you think it's not it's not economical it's based on the design from the architect if there's a way we can make it much more easier we will do it so with this with this you know that yes when doing your your floor design you must marry you don't just do it off at you marry it you align it with the architectural design you get your first floor your your ground floor your first floor and your other floors and align them that your column passes through this is first to third this this first to third floor this other floor and you make if you look carefully here if you follow this way at this level if your column continues this column continues to this part if it continues to this part it will budge out so you terminate it at this level 
So you don't, I, I don't just do it. You must marry to make sure that your columns are not coming out of the rooms. They must be hidden somewhere. They must be hidden. So with that, you can see that we make sure everything works perfectly. Everything works perfectly. And um, this is how you do. You don't just do it or offer it without the architectural. So we, we align the architectural where the columns are. We make sure it falls inside the... It makes sure it falls inside the the walls inside the walls like this now with what we've done we know this we determinated as a floor below this floor below this floor below this this like this is a five floor five story building the first to third floor is like this where your hollow can be hidden inside or at the fourth and fifth floor it comes out so your trick now will be okay if you dimension if you dimension this now let's assume you dimension this if you dimension it uh, let's see let's see if you dimension let, let's see what we do if you dimension this now this becomes from here to here is already 4.2 but based on this here part now on this part because on this level it will not be coming out we try to align it to if you see now is having almost six meters span so we will try to hide the beam the 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 column will be around this area so we do a lot of alignment before we finally agreed on the column layer so um as scanner if you if you've seen it you can go through it and if you still have any other question you can ask and those who are yet to subscribe please hit the subscribe button and those who have subscribed i really appreciate you all for that and if you are gaining value please let us know if you are benefiting from any of our videos make a comment tell us where you are commenting from and say this video was helpful it's very very encouraging to us so thank you when we post the next video you will be notified thanks remain blessed